so here is the other world that makes martial arts talent, Khabib Nurmagomedov, and there's so much made about his value as a corner man. Tonight, though, he is competing and has Bulas in his corner. Yeah, Coach Khabib is as undefeated as fighter Nurmagomedov compete again. This guy is the definition of pressure. He is trying to take you down, and he does not hide his intentions. He wants to get in your face, he wants to take you down, and he wants to drown you. This guy is a savage, he's a beast. Every word that describes that is Habib Nurmagomedov with a bull in his corner. Ready. Ready. Let's do it. He is undefeated. He is one of the best pound for pound fighters in the world. And what a pain in the neck he is to fight. Habib Nurmagomedov figures to go to the takedowns early and often here tonight. But if he needs to strike, we have seen a constant evolution when it comes to his striking. This is one of the best fighters in any division. And Habib Nurmagomedov back at it tonight. Great defense on this play there. Oh, it looks like that shot was blocked. The left hook lands on the counter. Nice job by him to get the knee to the target there, using his length exceptionally well tonight. Good job being a threat off your back and not allowing your opponent to get comfortable. All right, the referee not seeing enough action there. We go back to the center of the octagon now. Punches in bunches as he lands another combination there. Really doing a nice job stringing the shots. He's doing a great job of stringing the shots together and also just mixing up the target and the attacks. Great job finding different places for his strikes to land. So more output, at least in the early going. Nermago Medov's kick to the body here. That one appeared to be blocked. Both guys appeared to land there. That's a pretty good right hand there by the teammate of Udo Magomedov. You're so worried about the wrestling that... We... Oh, and now the hip is in a great position now to go out there. He did a great job of stepping all the way across to get that hip toss. Now look for him to start chasing down a submission. This has got to be the end of the fight. Defend that door shoot. Continuing to stay busy here on the ground. Well, as usual, suffocating work from the top here by Nermago Meta. And another one. Another strike from the top lands for him. The ground strikes starting to pile up. I tried that by the tail. Positional control here. Oh, effective utilization of the ground and pound here by Nermago Meta. Oh, we'll see if he postures up and can get some of his ground strikes going here. Two minutes. Khabib's in half goal. Oh, big pop from the crowd as they get back to their feet after a pretty scintillating grappling battle there on the ground. Well, it's an educated crowd, John. They appreciated all the grappling exchanges and how how skilled both of these men are. All right, late round action here. Khabib Nurmagomedov continuing to dominate the action. Beautiful transitions, and I'm not sure anybody mixes their wrestling and the grappling as well as this guy. I mean, he's just so tough. He's willing to go through the fire in order to get the fight to the ground. He's been able to do that. He is one of the strongest fighters I have ever grappled with. The guy has tremendous strength, but it's not just the strength, it's the technical skills on the ground that has allowed for him to separate himself from the rest of the lightweight division. Oh, big elbow. Nermago Menov gets the double leg takedown. Nice job there, disguising his entry. Constantly a moving target. 
are working on the ground here. His opponent's feet on the hips. And there you go, again, half guard. Oh, right, it's a mount. He's gotta be careful here. Big right hook there by the champ. Oh, he's back up again. You gotta like that. Oh, roundhouse kick lands. Hardy right, closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. All right, so now we start to see some redness underneath the elbow. You gotta think he's gonna continue to attack the body with all his strikes. Well, his opponent has not done anything to deter him. He should keep doing this, keep going to the well until his opponent finds an answer, because right now, he seems lost to it. Khabib's trying to get a triangle submission here. That's it pretty deep. Oh, oh and oh. there's the horn at the end of the round. How about this fight, folks? You see, he was nearly caught in a submission there right at the end of the round, saved by the bell. So back to the stool, mentally probably not in a great place here. We'll see if he can recover and get himself back into this fight. All right, so there is the horn. That means the round is over. We nearly had a finish due to a submission, but I think you got to give credit to both the offense and the defense. There. Yeah, you got to give credit to both guys, but nothing's more beautiful than an extended grappling exchange like we just witnessed. One guy almost submitted, one guy escaped. It's one of the most exciting Ready. things you can watch yeah. in all of this martial arts. All right, second round underway. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Great timing on that double leg. Oh, well placed with the hammer fist there by Nermago Meta. Nice transition. Hey, scramble, get up. Scramble. There it is. Now he's going to mount. Ground and pound strike there now. Now he's got a good body position, yup. And there it is, another strike gets through on the ground. Gotta watch his neck. Oh, tense moment here, that arm triangle's tight. Oh, he escapes! He got he's out! Work. I mean, wow, that is great submission defense. has expended a lot of energy going for these submissions tonight. I'm not sure his opponent is actually submittable. No, it doesn't seem like it. Because every time he goes for a submission, he gets close, or at least he expects to get close. But his opponent is so on his game that he's not giving him much to work with. This has been a beautiful display of grappling offensively, but also defensively. Looks like someone took a red sharpie to his side. A lot of bruising courtesy of those body strikes. So big kicks, big punches. He's doing everything he told us he intended to do to slow this guy down. And you can see his opponent starting to really be labored in most of his movements. All right, side control now, DC. You know he's in his element on the ground. A lot of tricks up his sleeve. A lot of tricks. Nurmagomedov's able to transition back to side control now. All right, half guard position here, DC. You have an extra hop in your step when you talk about fighters working out of this half guard. Oh, man. I like half guard as a top fighter. I understand half guard as a bottom fighter. Don't want to be there. Right. Very dangerous. But if you are there, you have to be winning. The position of the underhook it opens up so many opportunities for you to either escape or sweep. You can't take too many of those big elbows. Gets an underhook to get a more dominant position. Now the uppercuts are coming. He better start moving. He cannot stand here and eat these uppercuts. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, some big elbows landing for him now. Nice job landing the double jab there, DC. I mean, you are definitely pressing that one. You love that one, don't you? You love that jab. Gets to the single collar tie. Oh, he gets tagged again. Nice combination. Single leg takedown. Man, look at the redness now almost immediately on the right side of his body. 
Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. Oh, back up again. You can't hold a good man down. Oh, that's a nice strike there by Numago Metal. You're always thinking wrestling when you fight Habib, but you better be very weary of his stand-up. He's developing his skill every single day. He's got that single collar tie locked in. And they separate. Fighter might as well put that size to good use, and he certainly did so there. A lot of top pressure being applied here. Looks like he's trying to isolate it on here, DC. Yeah, he's isolating it to try to get a Kimura. Notice he'll step over the head to try to get the Kimura. Oh, look pretty tight, but he gives up on the submission. Right to the Neon Belly. He chooses to go Neon Belly. He starts to rain down big front of him. A more better move on a fight is going to get stopped. Missed with that attempt. 20 seconds to go round two. Oh, nice punch from the clinch by Nermago Meta. Big shots being landed on both sides here. So there's the end of the round. A lot of high-level action. And if you like the takedown game, as my boy Daniel Cormier does, you enjoyed that round. It's like we're watching the NCAA wrestling tournament. It's takedown after takedown. He's fighting his fight. He's able to change levels, drive into his opponent, and secure takedown after takedown. You ready to fight? You ready? Yeah. Here we go, third round of this championship fight. Well, if you like wrestling and you like takedowns, I guess that's the round for you. He really had his way with his opponent there. Yeah, he was able to secure many takedowns, switching up the techniques. Oh, I think he's still compromised. We'll see if he can recover here. He's in a world of trouble. Oh, big left hook there. Oh, nice takedown. Yep. Fist here by Nermago Meta. All right, so you got to be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't want to mess around for too long. Nermago Meta gets hit with a kick here. That one landed flush. Let's see if he can make some adjustments. Now he's going full mount. Good work from the top here by Nermago Meta. Well, he has got to be thrilled with this effort here tonight. There was a lot of pressure on him coming in. He is. Doled out a lot of damage, landed a lot of strikes, near flawless execution. Sometimes the hardest thing to do is what's expected. When you're expected to win, sometimes it's hard to live up to that expectation. He lived up to that expectation, and he exceeded it with such a great performance. Oh, arms in tight. We'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Motioning for his opponent to stand back up here. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection. And these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Perfect execution on that team. We march on three minutes to go. Oh, nice job by him there to get the takedown. I would think that gets the Olympians' stamp of approval. Oh, yeah, absolutely. What a fantastic job of getting the takedown when you need it. Oh, he's attacking choke now. Ooh, arm triangle's in tight. It's getting in very tight. Oh, great submission defense. Back to his feet. 
Rangers really start to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds, and it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter take the judges out of it. Oh, is that a huge strike right there? I'm not sure how many more of these his opponent can take. Massive shot that he landed. Great job. Beautiful. Print the shirts, ground damage on the other side. Yes, we knew this would be very competitive. We knew that this was a tough fight. We knew that both guys would be very evenly matched in this fight. But we didn't expect to see this type of war between these two guys. Well, he's certainly keeping busy, DC, connecting with most of the double leg here. 90 seconds to go. Oh, nicely done there as he escapes back to his feet. Great block there. Oh, big shot lands. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Huge knee lands from in close. Oh, the separation from the clinch. One minute now to go in the third. Nice combination there. to the left hand now, unable to connect. Oh, nice right hand. He gets to the single collar time. Look for him to now start to find uppercuts up the middle to try to do damage to his opponent. Khabib's in half goal. Ooh, right into side control, DC. This is where you want to be now because you get... Marco Maddox now looking for a Darce choke. That Darce choke is tight. with the ground and pound here. Oh, another strike lands from the top. All right, three rounds down, potentially two more to go. We are headed to the championship round. All right, so there's the end of the round. The storyline over those previous five minutes, volume takedowns, offensive wrestling. Yeah, this is an exhausting type of fight, not only for the offensive fighter, but also for the opponent. Always being under attack, always being defensive, always reacting starts to really wear at your gas tank. It's interesting to see who is more fresh going into the next round. You ready to fight? Ready. We have arrived at the fourth round fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. All right, here we go. The tension is palpable. Fourth round is underway. You've got a thing or two to say about these championship rounds. The fourth round is easily the hardest round in fighting. You're so used to fighting up to three. You got to get back off of that stool, and this is a real test of your will and desire to win a fight. Huge strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be on the receiving end of those types of strikes. Oh, nice level change. Get back your feet. Get back your feet. Get back your feet. And the referee brings the fight back to its feet. No surprise there. Needed to see more action. That one was clean. Great punch. And now they are throwing both sides with conviction. Well, just as he did the previous round, continuing to land a high number of strikes here, and he hasn't really showed any signs of slowing down. Scary, scary proposition for the opponent. Great job being busy off of his back. Lands a beautiful strike from the bottom. Oh, looks like he's got that arm pin in the triangle now. with the jab there. 
chest. Look at that redness underneath his elbow. A lot of those strikes to the body start to pile up. Getting beat up and being smart enough to not be headhunting the entire time. I like this. I like this approach. Another big beat down. Just over three minutes to go now. Going to work here from guard. Nice combination there. Everything he throws is with fight ending intentions. Lands a strike there. All right, so now his body language really starting to change and the bruises starting to accumulate on that side. I mean, you're looking at it, right? When you can visibly see the damage on the body, you know that the work has been done. What a beautiful game plan put together by this team. Well, he's got his back now. Oh, nice. Massive shot from the top. And he is back up to his feet. Nagomedov yeah. gets touched by that kick to the body. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Oh, nasty cut there, right on the bridge of the nose. Superman punch lands! Well, he continues to stay busy, and he continues to land with volume punches here. I mean, volume, but he's not wasting anything. He's so accurate out there. Oh, the Superman punch lands! Well, no surprise, he gets the takedown there. Over and over again, he attacks, he secures, and on we go. Able to block that one. Hard shots landing on both sides here. Comes in close, controls his opponent's posture, and lands these nasty up. Man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Well, we got a lot of blood now, ladies and gentlemen. I think my mother just turned off the TV, but every time that area gets targeted, that cut is getting worse and closer, theoretically, to the end of the fight. Yeah, and you know, when you got a person like this in front of you, that is so good at what they do. When you are bleeding like this and the work is showing, you gotta try to find a way to stop them. He needs to try to get a takedown or something. Because the more he's standing, the more he's gonna have to deal with this cut. And now, all the blood is coming from the cut. Oh! Oh, he's got him hurting here. Oh, whoa! Both landed. Misses with the left hook. 15 seconds. Lands a quick jab. And again, he shoots for a takedown here. Nearly got the foot to the ground, but once again, the takedown defense holds up. But he knows this. He knows that in order to finally get the fight to the ground, he has to be patient, and he's going to have to be committed. If he thought that he would get every takedown he shot, he would not find the success that he intends to get. Well, his nose is just mangled. The cut appears to be the big issue. Let's get you some replays from that previous round. I mean, he's getting hammered. He's going back to the well over and over again. And why would he not? His opponent wasn't good on the defense. His opponent allowed for him to land too clean. And now he's just targeting that cut on the nose. Ready to fight? Ready. Four. Fifth and final round, fourth cover. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a far fight. It wasn't two guys going to kick and sink at each other. But you did see time when it came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. kick to the body there. He's just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. All right, so there's the takedown game on display, all set up, though, by the hands this time. It has to be set up. You cannot just take line takedown attempt. You can't shoot. You got to set your opponent up. He did that beautifully. Let's go, bro. Stay busy on the ground. All right, operating inside the closed guard now. 
Well, working pretty effectively from the top here. Nice ground and pound by Nermago Meta. Cardio looks great. He's still bouncing. He's still moving. He's still real confident. He's trying to set a trap here before he can engage and really spring in there with a couple big strikes. Beautiful jab there by the champ. Oh, he hurt the battle of the jab. Try to establish that jab. Big double leg, double change. Striking pretty well from the bottom here. Oh, and he escapes up to his feet. Very nice. Lands the inside leg kick there. Oh, a huge strike lands there, DC. He landed that massive shot. Now he needs to try to find the next shot, the follow-up shot, that will finish the fight. Just over three minutes now to go in the fight. Oh, there's the double leg takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent, you gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Looks like a potential submission attempt here. That is tight. Oh, now he bails on the submission. He's gotta be careful here. Feet on the hips here. Well, his superior grappling has certainly been the lead narrative in this one. The takedowns, the ground control, he's got it all going tonight. He's doing a great job of dictating to his opponent, not allowing him to make any decisions in regards to the fight. Quick jab. Look at that finisher. Right on side. He picked the back ankle by reaching all the way across. Check out. Two minutes now to go in this one. Nermago Medov's in half guard now. Trying to guard pass here, not today. No, it ain't happening. Good job understanding the transition. Beautiful transition. Khabib's back in half guard. He's very comfortable here. Oh, he's got it locked in. He's got that arm triangle deep. Some defense on full display there. He said that he was very aware of what this guy brought to the octagon and the show in that defense. Really good job to land these strikes from top position. Another ground and pound strike gets home. All right, so the fighter's able to reverse position on the ground, and now he's got the dominant position. Yeah, what a great job recognizing that once he got the reversal, he went right to his offense. He didn't wait, John. He did a good job of while his opponent goes, oh my goodness, I lost the position. He said, no, no, we're not done. I'm gonna get to a dominant position myself. Well, anytime you are in a ground fighting situation with this fighter, you're potentially playing with fire. He's gotta either go southpaw or he has to actually just try to throw the whole kitchen sink at him. Well, he's looking for that left hand, just out of range though with it. All right, single collar tie now. Nermago Medov gets another takedown. Largely, he's a striker, but the wrestling is there tonight. Changing the position. All right, side control now. Get the out here. Nermago Medov's going for the sub here. Oh, compromising spot here. Triangle choke is locked in. Official decision now in the buff has. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. We'll play the winner by unanimous decision. And still the undisputed UFC heavyweight champion of the world, Habib the Eagle. Well, as the judges' scorecards needed, not often the case when Khabib Nurmagomedov.